Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 5 of House 3 of the Drifter Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And in this part, we're just going to try and make some more money and perhaps if we have a little bit of time, see if Charity can do some more fishing for her fishing aspiration and more to increase her fishing skill because part of the goals for this house there's a few of them one is to max your fishing and your gardening skill but I'm not sure if you can fish in Oasis Springs in the winter time it may not get as cold so you may be able to but I figure to be on the safe side it's probably better to try and get that skill max though of course we could also go to Salvadorada because you can fish there because it's warm all year round if we don't manage to get to level 10 she is already at level let me just take a quick look level seven of fishing but just at the beginning of it but she's also needs to work on that aspiration but let's go on let's get her started and then i can talk she is going to do a i can't remember what painting skill level she is she is six so i'm just gonna have her do a classic large painting now i did get her the marketable trait which means that her values of her painting should be higher as well as the lot has the home studio trait that increases the quality which also tends to increase the value of what you paint now this lovely little house that she has here is all just a roof except for the bathroom is actually a room so the roof itself and the flooring was all free <laughs> so which we needed of course if you might remember from a couple of parts ago where there was a bad thunderstorm going on so i had to get her some form of shelter and that was an easy way to get her some shelter though we needed enough money for a door to get into the roof but luckily you can get a few different types of doors for 50 simoleons in the game so she did manage but she has expanded it and got a um bed so she can actually sleep properly as opposed to she was sleeping on this little bench which I put in there because it was thundering out and she needed somewhere with shelter to uh, be able to nap. And the other thing is that it is Harvest Fest coming up. I'll take a look here. In a few days on the Thursday. So I would like to have actually established a small house by then with a kitchen so she can make a grand meal because that'll be one of the goals of Harvest Fest. And I was sort of looking at her, what age she was, because she also has to raise, raise an heir, let me get on the Somology tab, to a young adult. And I would like her to not have aged up to elder before <laughs> the uh, heir is a young adult. But when you add up all the days that they take, and the fact that aging turns off when they're pregnant, she does have like, you know, almost a week if she only was to have one child and if she has you know for each child extra she has she adds another two or three extra days to her lifespan before she you know becomes older but i don't really want to rush to have them i'd rather uh her be able to concentrate on them when they come along so we're going to concentrate on trying to get a house established before she has a baby but we will have to pretty soon try and get her to meet someone we have a few days and she's got one excellent painting there so we are going to sell that to collect her. I kind of wanted to get her money back over a thousand simoleons. So in case she gets a phone call to go out that she can, which is why I'm doing some painting right now. And, uh, and like I said, I'd just like to get some money so we can like actually build a little bit, a proper house as opposed to be living in a roof, <laughs> which is what she's doing right now. But, uh, luckily the weather is actually pretty decent in in uh, Oasis Springs but you know they do have to worry about heat it is hot I'm surprised she's not uncomfortable but I guess it's not a heat wave we can change her into her uh her summer clothes right now she's in an everyday outfit she seems to go between the temperature seems to range quite a lot in Oasis Springs it varies between hot and and cold because I've had to put her in warm clothes and I like her summery clothes and I've had to put her in her wintry clothes because she's had both moodlets since she's been here but I do see she's getting a little bit hungry so one thing that I did do in between parts is I added a few more young adults to the save and I went in with some of the existing families oh we have our bills let's see how much they are and I'll go back 197 simoleons so that's fine uh, I added I did some like play with genetics to add some more because I sometimes I have MCC command in my or MC command center in my game 
and other times I don't, and right now I don't. So I there's some there's some uh, babies and stuff that were had when that was in the game, but I wanted to make sure that people didn't get left on their own. And I do have Aging for the World off at the moment because with the pre-seasons patch, they, and I believe I've said this before, she's level seven of the painting skill. They um, patched it so that if you get, you know, if you have anyone you know dies, your Sims get uh, 975, even better. We'll try a landscape painting. They get a sad mood left for two Sim days, and it doesn't matter how barely they know the people. So, and that essentially, that would mean that if you n meet people, your Sim is in a constant state of sadness, which I find a little bit excessive. I'd be okay if, you know, close 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 friends and family if you get notifications that they're sad but I don't like like Joe Blow that you meet and barely talk to and you find out they died and you're sad for two days that seems a bit bit excessive like I just said so I currently have it off but that said while I have added a handful of young adults to the world if anyone has wants to create a young adult male or female or maybe siblings so that you know she could choose from either uh that would be great because then i can add a few more to the world and then she has someone to choose from but like i said i'm not looking like this sim day or in the next couple of sim days but she's gonna have to start looking soon because it takes a little bit of time to build up a relationship and then get married so yeah she's she's <laughs> the time to stick in for that but she has a little bit of time to work on you know establishing herself first before she actually needs to have uh air but let's see how this one goes let's let me speed this up a little bit and see if uh we can get through this painting a bit quicker because uh <laughs> it's not you know that exciting watching her paint <laughs> so she got another one oops I'm gonna actually slow this down now we're going to sell that that was worth a little less and she's hungry so she probably should eat and she was feeling tense she, even though she seems like she's outside um what I'm gonna do is I think this drags no it doesn't drag I'm going to move it outside because she is tense and we can always put it back inside it's a lovely day so we're going to have a quick meal she was gonna have some yogurt and then I'm gonna have her come sit over here it's not going to do very well painting with uh, being tense. So hopefully she actually goes. And look, she's changed into her... I'm not sure what wear that is. It looks like athletic wear. But maybe it's warm weather wear. It could be either. And what is... Uh, she's thinking about... Oh, that's what I started to say. So when I was editing the world, I noticed that her dad had an alien baby. Which I found a bit strange. Because I think I vaguely remember him getting abducted, but he was an elder, so I wouldn't have thought that he would have, you know, gotten pregnant as an elder. But they have an they have an alien baby, <laughs> so I'm almost tempted to put aging on for their house. I don't know what that negative thought was, but yeah, there's a little alien baby, and uh, <laughs> she's got an alien half sibling. But uh, I thought that was kind of funny, and she wants to she wants to start a club gathering, which we can maybe do and play in the leaf pile. We can maybe do that too. So maybe we'll have her do one more painting. We'll do another classic. I find once she gets a level eight, then that's good because then the realism paintings are what I find are worth quite a lot. And then, but you need to be level eight to get a, you know higher quality ones of those. So she's not level eight, and she's a little bit with a little while off of level eight and I honestly can't remember if I put the because there is a trait a lot trait let me go look why not while she's painting yeah I do homes natural light the quality of light here makes painting and photography much easier to master so I'm going to keep that one in place while she's using it which she is right now and now that I think about it it's right there it tells me natural light from lot traits I didn't need to go in there because it told me right in her moodlets that she had it so she should be gaining that quick, more quickly. So she is at three, and I guess I could get these points quicker if I didn't do large paintings, because it would be quicker <laughs> to do medium-sized paintings, and she'd get through it quicker. But to go to the museum, there is a museum. We did, you know, Oasis Springs and Willow Creek were emptied out, but there is, oh, we got a masterpiece. How much is that worth? 15 $26. we will sell that. 
Um, because normally I would use the street gallery, but it's broken. It's not working properly at the time of recording, so I can't use it. So she's just selling everything because I will sell it with a 300% markup and then you make oodles of money. But it does take extra time because you have to like paint, 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 and then go and you know, have the street gallery and go with that. So I'm just trying to get her to make some more money. Very exciting. So I'm going to speed it up. I almost should move that easel out also so she gets the being outside moodlet too. But I think maybe this is going to be her last painting for now. And then I'm going to have her do some gardening because she needs to do some gardening. Anyways, just because the garden looks like it needs weight weeding. And I have totally been forgetting about her frog. She's got some eggplant whorls which are worth a hundred. So I should just keep breeding them. Because it's a free hundred simoleons every, you know, so many hours. I can't remember if it's four or six, but it's somewhere there. I don't pay close enough attention to it, but it's fairly frequently. So she's got that painting and we are going to sell that for 700. And now I'm going to swap over to her gardening aspiration because I did take a quick look before I started and I saw she needs to weed or water one more plant uh, to get to the next stage. And this garden really needs some looking after. It looks like it's dry. It needs spraying for bugs and it needs to be watered. So that's not actually going to be very fun for her. So hopefully her fun should be pretty maxed. Her social is not very good. And now we probably need to, what level did she get? She just completed. So she's still level two, but she's almost level three because she can start fertilizing once she gets to level three, which then will help with, um, evolving the plants. So of course they don't actually, it's the next stage where they're supposed to. Well, the humor and hijinks festivals in town. I don't know if we get an invitation, if we want to go or not, because we have the money. That is one thing that that's one of the reasons I concentrated right away on making sure she had the money. Cause you can't travel. I guess we could go. Hmm. I'm not really sure. One advantage of going is that if you win the Humor and Hijinks Festival, you get, and if you're on the um, side where they're doing the mischief, the pranksters, you get a voodoo doll and they're worth 950 simoleons. So you could make a decent amount of money on going and it gets her out of the house and maybe she might possibly meet someone of the people I've created. Though, like I said, I'm not really, at this point, she's probably just looking for friends because I'm not really looking for romance for another few sim days at least. So I'm going to say yes. This is interesting, even though it's not going to, it's going to sidetrack her from her, her goals, but she might make some money out of it. So I'm going to take her out there and I'll be back when she gets there. I was thinking as she was traveling that I hope it's not like raining here and she is in her winter gear because I know that while this looks like it's an indoor thing, it is, I'm pretty sure it's a warm like a cold weather thing and looks like her mom has come too. So I wonder whether we have a gathering going. I'm just kind of thinking, why not just have a gathering going? So we're going to start a gathering. Oh no, we have to go at the gym. No, we're not going to do a club gathering then if that's the case. So well, she is here and her mom doesn't look like she's dressed in winter with gear, <laughs> I have to say. So we are going to go join the pranksters because they are, we'll join them together. Why not? Because they are the ones that you win the good rewards from. And I don't know if we can come watch watch them because we need to watch fireworks for this. Though they might be gone by the time. Yeah, it looks like it's done. You know, while we're here, we could work. Let's see where we are on the... I think we got... Well, we could do this because if we introduce ourselves to one more person... We're going to do a friendly introduction to Elsa Bjergsen and then that will, that counts there for the meeting someone new in three different locations, which I think it's already counted for us. So we're going to now swap over to location city native. Not that we're going to do this. <laughs> if we introduce ourselves to someone new, so she's creative, hot headed and a genius. So I guess those are, those are, I remember when the game first came out, I did have creative and genius, but I found that when you get the whim to do something, um, to share ideas, it didn't seem to work as well. And there's our grandmother. So we are going to 
I, I guess we'll do some some mischief. <laughs> and what food do we have? Is there anything in particular? Let's look here. We can order food. I don't know. And she is actually hungry, so that works. So there's uh, pro prochette, merguez, or tagine. And over here, what is it? I'm just looking. None of them are anything that you can use without. Um, I like when the sushi, the nigiri, nigiri is there because then you can do that without. I'm just going to do the cheapest one. <laughs> Not that she doesn't have money and she doesn't really, it's not that important. So she's going to go order some food and then we are going to sing the prankster theme song and we're going to convince T is poisonous. I think, I don't remember what relation, I think she's a relation from her grandfather if I remember correctly, but I'm not 100% sure. The pranksters are in the lead by one. Need to go doing, keep doing some more pranking. I guess, I don't know if she's going to go order if she's so busy doing the, and the fireworks you could do at the end, so that's not really that big of a deal. And I'm not going to have her leave until this is fully over, regardless, because I find if you leave before it fully ends, there is a thing where some of the buildings that are, like some of these things that are set up for the festival don't disappear properly so you kind of need to stay till it's over so technically you're supposed to leave when you get invited somewhere you're supposed to leave when the outing is over except for that I find I don't usually end up doing that <laughs> because of that reason I stay until it's till the the festival fully ends and everything is left and then I often find a lot of times there's a vampire breaking in so then I can't leave and I have to wait around until they um oh look we're in the lead by three Excellent. So we ordered from the uh, from there. So I'm gonna actually. I don't usually do. Let me think. Where is it? Deviance. I'm gonna do Chief of Mischief because I think in that one you have to. Well, we're not gonna probably be disliked by the Sims, but we have to perform ten mean or mischievous interactions. And while it doesn't get us that many points, why not? Why not? Why not work on it? And he's eating a. How is he eating a sage bush? <laughs> I can't say that looks like a sage bush. <laughs> That's a bit weird. And there's no plants here at this particular festival. They don't have any here. And there's uh, <laughs> there's our mom. And Joanna, we're going to uh, imply jokester sabotage. Sabotage. We are still in lead by three and we've got to mischief. Of course, the other thing that happens is that when you're doing this, oh, that's just playful, that's not good. Luckily, there's a mirror that we can go calm down once this is over. <laughs> the last thing we want is to <laughs> lose our loser to, uh, oh, I think he's, was he singing? I don't know. Oh, they're playful too. I guess we could ask her career. Who's this? Oh, we are. We were going to talk to him. He's an adult and he's married. Why don't we imply T sabotage? The pranksters are now only in the lead by one. Sing the prankster theme song. I don't know whether they actually joined with us or not. To what is he doing? Is he singing or because he keeps making that funny movement? There's a lot of playful people. She's not even finished drinking. Is she actually with us with them? I'm trying to look. Does it say she joined? She joined the pranksters. I wasn't sure because she was still drinking. Oh, there's a firework, and we're kind of watching it. Will that count, or is it like the full fireworks we need to join? So we're gonna try doing some more. Uh, oops, she's gone. <laughs> she disappeared. Convinced he is poisonous, and oh, she's in, he's in Bella's art club club because we had that that the meant he worked with her. Let's see. She's definitely leveling up her mischief a lot. She like started with nothing and now she's level four. And we are going to, I don't know, imply tea, sabotage. 
And who is this? This is an elder who's a renegade. Wolfgang Munch. We may as well do a friendly introduction. Oh, we're in the lead by five now. Yay! <laughs> I don't know how much longer this is going to take to go on. Let's see. Bella changed her outfit and then she did a thingy. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So he's a mo mean, gloomy, and a bro. <laughs> I remember, he, I knew he was mean and gloomy, but he ended up being a bro. <laughs> That's kind of funny. We'll sing the prankster theme song again. And Elsa, I don't remember what her traits were, because she ended up... Oh right, she was the one, she had uh, the hot-headed, creative, and genius. Oh, and then I had some... So why don't we ask for what careers they are in? Oh, she's gotten really tired. Friendly. Uh, ask about a career if she's in one. And then ask about career and see if he's in one. And there's... Oh, there's... This is Juan Jose Gomez. So we became good friends with Charity. Joanna became good friends with Charity. That's weird that it was that way. So Elsa is an assistant nurse at T-Pose Medical and Wolfgang is retired. And he's squeamish, mean, and gloomy. Oh, and she's very playful now and also very tired. Oh, and I should probably do these uh, frogs. Breed the frogs, and we're now in the lead with uh, by four. So we are going to sing the prankster <laughs> theme song. So there's just going to be a little bit more of this. I'm going to continue this unless something happens. I'll be back when uh, the event ends because I'm realizing how much time has gone by. Well, I said I'd be back, but I noticed that there is Father Christmas. <laughs> so I thought we would go introduce ourselves or try to introduce ourselves to him. Though I'm surprised he's already here because it's, oh, we won! The pranksters win! All pranksters receive the voodoo doll, which is worth 950 simoleons, fireworks, and uh, 500 simoleons. So we had a lucrative night coming here. She kind of needs to watch the fireworks. So, I mean, it's not like you get anything for watching the fireworks, but why don't we come and... No, we don't want to extinguish them. We want to watch them. How can we... Why can't I watch them? I'm not sure. Usually they just go do them on their own, so I think I interrupted her. Because I can't, like, can't set them off, and I can't... Oh well. Oh, it's over anyways. It doesn't really matter. It's not like I said, it's not like you get anything for it. But I'm just going to keep her here until she has, um, you know, the whole thing has completely wound down. This was her, well, I was going to say that was her food. We're going to have her eat it. And uh, I'll be back when she gets, uh, I'll be back in the next part in the morning. But before I end, if you do have any Sims you like to create, and like I said, you know, if you have a brother and sister, even better, because then they have some built-in relatives, then uh, that would be great. And just let me know in a comment down below and give me your origin ID so and the name of who it is you've created so that I can go and look for them. But that is going to be it for this part. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!